Hello, hello, I'm back for my first recording of 2023. I let myself take um, winter break between semesters to just do as little as fucking possible, and it was really nice. I needed some time off. It wasn't, you know, exactly the quiet do-nothing couple of weeks I'd hoped. We still wound up hosting holidays, because our friend who would normally host has a very reactive, anxious dog who she's still trying to get used to people. But that's okay. So, I did go back and um, rewatch the end of last video just to remind myself where I'm going so I didn't have to admit that, yes, I have completely forgotten. Come on. So, haha, -ha, I know where I'm going. I also just spent, I don't know, 10 minutes fighting with my microphone because it wasn't recording nearly as loud as I wanted. And I like um, a lot of what Windows 10 has done. But one thing that I despise is that it built on the change they made fuck, in Windows... I think it came about with Windows 8 where they split the settings and the control panel, so you've got a few basic settings that are really easy to find, and then you have to dig around for the rest. And so, I, it took me longer than it should have to find the spot where you can adjust the level that your microphone is boosted to. I'm not sure why I needed to do that this time when it worked so well last time, but... Who knows? New hardware. Live and learn. There you are. At some point, I have a suspicion Halloween Town is gonna make me take a break and do a little bit of grinding, but we'll see. Too slow. That's the trouble with these guys once you get the longer spell list. Yep, that other one behind it got caught in the blizzard. Sucks to be me. Oh, fuck. I absolutely did not mean to do that. I give up. We're not playing charades today. I love you guys. You're adorable. Okay, I did also Google where is the mayor so I didn't waste too much time looking him up, and all I found was 
in the graveyard, so maybe we're going to waste some time running around anyway. Or maybe he'll be right there. Ah. Fixed camera areas, in general, really bother me in 3D games like this. But whatever, it's a small space and I can see why it would make the camera freak out. <laughs> I much prefer fighting the, um, I don't remember if they called them just whites or white knights, but the mummy dudes are way less annoying to fight than the search ghosts, even though they hit harder because they don't fucking teleport. Donald can catch up. Just out of curiosity. A thousand points. That's not too bad. Let's see. Other exciting news. I finally got a car that's better suited to winters around here. My previous car was a PT Cruiser, which I loved very much. It's a comfy little car, but it fishtailed at the site of slush. And I live somewhere we get a decent amount of snow in the winters on a hill. So it just, quite frankly, was not safe for me to drive that thing in the winter. So I, um, an SUV came my way that I, you know, absolutely had to take. I kind of need four-wheel drive around here, and I donated the cruiser to an animal shelter. Luckily, the new car is also very comfy, and I'm getting... Already quite attached to it as I get used to driving it. I have bun warmers now. There you go. This time it's sure to work. Also, this time, in an effort to avoid making stupid faces while I'm taking a drink, I have elected to use a straw. And so far, it seems to be working. Uh, no, I'm not using single-use plastics. I have a nice reusable silicone one. So that might be something I try to remember to do in the future. What is on this bookshelf? Oh, nice. I 
seem to recall somewhere around there, there being a chest under some stairs. We lost them. Zero! After them, quick! That might have been in two, though. They put a decent amount more exploration slash interactive things in Guillotine Square than they did in this one. Ow. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention to where Zero went, but I'm pretty sure they head to the graveyard. That hill absolutely gets too narrow for the feet of that bathtub to stay on. Which is why they had to give us a side view. Okay, now to remember how to navigate this place. Right, it was this thing. And then I think there's a, a switch or a gravestone around here somewhere that uncurls the hill that we're gonna have to kill everything to find. Which is Fine, again, I could use the experience, but I'm sure that doesn't make for the most interesting TV. Forgot those dudes explode. Something I go really back and forth on how much I mind is the way these spawn points can bleed into each other because of how much fights move. So like you're just constantly being distracted by the next thing appearing in front of your face and like I just did leaving the last batch of Heartless behind. And or getting 
swarmed by three encounters worth of whites at the same time. How I got here. Oh, someone lit the table. That's nice. I, I guess I should call it a platform, but that thing has never looked to me like anything but one of those cheap but trying to be fancy. You got it at a garden store outdoor dining room table. Or Dining room? Outdoor tables. Ah. I'm sorry, little dude. I'm not very good at this. It seems like it's set up so Donald and Goofy won't attack mushrooms. But for that kind, it would be kind of nice if they did help. Hmm. I'm starting to think this is meant to be something I come back for with Glide. But if I can land on the hillside like that... Yep, we're coming back for that one. I can just go across the top. Nope. I don't know if this is supposed to be some sort of drainage canal or if Ogie intentionally set out to make a very annoying entryway. Probably both. Oogie Boogie was behind this. Because of all the scary, spooky things in our town, he's the only thing that's actually evil. I'm pretty sure there's some stuff to find down there. Uh, that... This archway gets blown up, so that chest is going to be accessible later, if I remember how this works. Ugh! 
Oh, there's a trinity there. We knock it down. That makes sense. Did the Heartless get stronger in here? Is that a thing that happens, or am I just struggling? I think I'm just struggling. And now I bet you we won't be able to do this until Donald's up. Oh, that's convenient. Thanks, buddy. I thought there was more to find down here. Oh well, bathtub, help me. whose idea the bathtub was, but that was such a delightfully bizarre means of conveyance. Alright, we don't need guard that much. That's just an opportunity to fall down, I think. Let's find out. Yep. I don't remember... like, a ton about this place. This is not one of the areas that ever really stuck in my mind, but I don't remember ever seeing that hole before. Of course, we meet my eternal nemesis, fighting near edges. Here. I thought this was something. Maybe it's not. This is it. 
Okay, that's just a weird dark corner. Maybe that was a tunnel lock shock and barrel used in the movie? I honestly don't remember. I think I've only seen The Nightmare Before Christmas once or twice. Hey, buddy. Come to me. This is definitely progress. Let's go see what was at the other end of that fork. There's a chest up in that cage, but I don't know how to get it. Thunder! And fuck. We've gotten far enough away that the Heartless have respawned, so we can't get in the bathtub. seeing these random little light spots in stone or wood and thinking, did I miss a chest? How is it over that? Oh, that's just environment. So chest in there, chest in there. I have no idea how those work. And this is just Jaws. Uh, no, we're not fighting you guys here. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. This place is covered in doors we can't use. Thunder! you can't glide in through those bars. That seems a little more uh, fine-tuned than Kingdom Hearts' style. Especially the very first one. The, those would almost certainly have just been invisible walls. Time to go beat up some children. Take that! Ha! 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 Ha!
Take that, you annoying little shits. He's just following orders. Yeah, that doesn't excuse soldiers when the military orders atrocities, so why should it excuse you? So quick to throw each other under the bus. What great friends. There we go. It should not be that difficult to hit a lever. be a way for us to get down to the green door. Where even is it? I know I saw it at the very beginning. Okay, here we are. Torture Chamber. This game came out in 2001. I was, like, seven. I don't remember if I played this when I was, like, seven, but I was pretty young. But it's Halloween Town, it's alright. <laughs> Everything here is spooky. Want it? Well then, come on over and get it! Ah! <laughs> now, let's see if I can get their attention! Oh, hi, boys! I want to know why Jack's line wasn't voiced. This is it? Nobody disrespects me! Nobody! Ow. Where is he? Why can't I look up? Uh, 
Ah, missed my shot. Get him? I got him. Not doing a whole lot of damage. This is going to take a few phases. I can't tell what he's saying there. Is it hog baby? That doesn't make any sense. Fuck are you, Oogie Boogie? Okay, looks like I'll need to get up to him three, maybe four times. Oh, look, he heals. I forgot about that. Ow. Please let me up there. Alright, that one did not go well. Is that? Did he just heal? You know, every time I've tried to hurt him from down here, I was trying to see if I could, you know, jump up and actually hit him. I don't think I've ever beaten Oogie Boogie with magic before. Every time I expect us to squash that beetle, but I guess we're not that kind of murderer.
Was a hell of a jump. Just inch to the side until we can get up. Of course. Okay, I think they're just going to be respawning down here forever. Okay, how do we get up there? Jeez. I, I think it's just because we're up against so many objects in the house, but my camera is not behaving the way I want it to. That I wanted that. I could never call it challenging, really, but this is a cool kind of chaotic sequence. Definitely not a usual second phase of a boss fight. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. What the? A lot happening there.
see that? That is a cool keyhole. That, even though it makes minimal use of the environment, still does. Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. Yeah, don't cancel it for now. Cancel it forever. That's a bad idea. Now you get an existential doctor. What's up, beaches? I feel so bad for Beryl. He just gets pulled along into their bullshit. No, his magic stat is almost certainly higher. Uh, before I actually go anywhere, unsurprisingly, I did forget to upgrade, or fix my guns. Not necessarily upgrade. <laughs> Another? Can I just have... Ah, uh, yeah. Now we're cooking. And now, let's go follow that oh-so-helpful hint and see what's going on in Trevor's Town. Yeah, fuck that. I'm here to hit things. Alright, is that... the only update around here? Let's go visit the rest of the gang, just to make sure that we're not missing anything else. Good job, Donald. Ha! 
Wait, I just saw Leaf Bracer and I did not process who it was on. Either way, this is important. I got Treasure Magnet. Okay. Donald. It's not as useful since it's only on self. Like, I could really use that, but... If he can keep himself alive a little better, that's good too. Actually, I haven't looked at Goofy's in a bit. He does have some AP to use. Let's... Ooh. When did we pick that up? Don't care about summons. Uh, do we have anything else we can spend that last point on? Oh, just gonna hang on to that. really is so satisfying to come back to early worlds and just kick the snot out of everything. What's up, bud? He's searching for his friend. Is it because you don't want to talk about the the fact that he's looking for you? Is he not actually looking for you? Like, I haven't actually played Final Fantasy VII. Like, I I got through the beginning when it first came out on Steam, but I never finished it, so I don't know much. But I thought Cloud and er Aerith, Eris had a thing. Let's see if we can synthesize anything new. We can probably get our Moogle level up a couple times. Is it... I think it's you. Nope, it's the one by the not a fireplace. So, I think Fury Stone is one of the items from the Special Heartless that are a pain to fight. Dark Matter is just rare. Frost and Thunder Shards, those should come from the little flying magic dudes, I think. I'm surprised I have so few. Got any news, buddy? Nope, all right. How about you? I kind of forgot you guys were here now. It 
be nice if he would give you all of the blueprints he has instead of making you talk to him a million times. But, old game. I can forgive it some of its flaws. Let's go try out our new guns. Oh, that's satisfying. You know what? I wonder if it's the cannons and not the lasers that take power. Or at least this one. are hard to hit. Very good at staying out of the way. You know, I keep thinking that one of these days as we get into the uh, higher level gummy spaces. I should probably upgrade my armor some more, but when you can just obliterate everything in front of you like this, it doesn't matter quite as much. Again, how? Y'all, we can steer, we can barrel roll, we could get out of here if we wanted. It would probably just keep chasing us, and shoot us, but it would be more fun to try to escape than just force us to stop and let it pull up, right? I didn't think you'd come, Sora. <gasps> Good to see you again. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Are they that important to you? More important than old friends? Instead of worrying about them, you should be asking about her. Riku, we had zero reason to believe you knew anything. I mean, yes, we our, one of our first questions probably should be, have you learned anything, but... Come on, dude. We we were just, um, f fucking rammed and kidnapped, and now our party members, who have been fighting alongside us instead of you, who I believe we have... Yeah, like, the whole thing with Pinocchio, we know you're kind of fucked up. We should be worried about them, too. Kyrie! That's right. 
while you were off goofing around, I finally found her. Not so fast. No shenanigans aboard my vessel, boy. Riku, why are you siding with the Heartless? The Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. You're stupid! Sooner or later they'll swallow your heart! Not a chance. My heart's too strong. Riku! I've picked up a few other tricks as well. Like this, for instance. <sighs> you can go see your friends now. <sighs> Let's get underway already. And keep Sora away from Kairi until we're ready to land. Hmm. That scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? Nothing! The hold is crawling with heartless. Let them keep an eye on the brats. But, Captain, you know who is also down... Shh! Did you hear that, Smee? Oh, that dreadful sound. No, Captain. Are you quite sure? Did I imagine it? Oh, my poor nerves. You don't say. Yeah, it was definitely Kyrie. I finally found her. All right. <laughs> yep. Then let's go up and talk to her. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, but first, how about getting off? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> how you doing there? Looking for a way out? Who are you? I'm the answer to your prayers. <sighs> and an absolute ass. Okay then, fine, have it your way. But you're stuck in here too, aren't you? Huh, nope, I'm just waiting for someone. Who? Tinkerbell, what took you so long? Great job, so you found Wendy? Hold on, there was another girl there too? Are you crazy? There's no way I'm gonna leave Wendy there. Uh -huh. She must be pretty jealous. <laughs> and also an asshole. Come on, Tink. Open up the door. <clears throat> hmm. I'm Peter Pan. I'm Sora. Okay. We're in this together, but only till we find Wendy. He's a dick. And I think that is a good spot to save for now. Next time you get to watch me wander around getting lost in the ship because once again we're in a place where all of the rooms look the fucking same and made of wood.